YouTube removes 58 million videos featuring hateful and inappropriate content. 58 million videos. For example, now a ch YouTube channel called Monkey Jones. He's a channel that made a lot of videos about Elliot Roger. If you don't know who this is, he's a guy that shot and killed six people. Uh, but he generally made it in the sense of making fun of him. If you upload a video, the problem is that no one knows the rules. If you upload a video and it, no, it has no problem and hundreds and thousands of views, then you, you imagine that it's safe to say that you can upload a video with a similar style of comedy or whatever it is. But instead, you know, he keeps doing it. And then when YouTube realized, oh, we have to delete this guy's channel now, which is just messed up. They could have just deleted the videos or age restricted them or... But why remove the channel? Monkey Jones has been banned from YouTube. In fact, two of his channels were completely terminated for violating the community guidelines. So Monkey Jones has been completely yeeted off of YouTube in its entirety. He even got his original Twitter account banned as well. And the reasons that were given for it is because YouTube didn't like the fact that he was uploading videos on Elliot Rogers. <laughs> I just want to make people aware that this is happening everywhere as some kind of end of year mass purge. So Merry Christmas to Monkey Jones from Susan Wojcicki. So here we have Quentin Reviews basically kind of laughing about the whole situation that he had lost his channels. And to that I say this, uh, I was actually a really big fan of Quentin Reviews, but uh, if you happen to be watching this dude, I didn't know you were such a dick. So uh, I guess the only thing I have to say in relation to that is, uh, Go fuck yourself, you salty ass cunt. So Monkey Jones, someone who had a large part in the creation of my YouTube channel, received six YouTube guideline strikes on his main channel and his second channel, which then led to his channels being deleted from YouTube. Not that I don't like Monkey anymore, but rather he's no longer a creator on this website. On December 11th, 2018, both of his main channels were terminated by YouTube out of the blue after he received three strikes on both of them without any real explanation. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. Well, it all started earlier today when a horse-faced bitch named Susan decided to kill me. And demonetized, demonetized, demon- Oh my god! Chancellor Susan, you better take a look at this. There's a YouTuber named Monkey Jones who has an entire channel full of videos making fun of the spree killer, Elliot Roger. What? On my platform? Bring him to me at once. Oh, God damn it! Well, 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 monkey boy. You thought you could get away with glorifying a school shooter on my platform? Glorifying? I wasn't glorifying shit! Susan, you are literally too stupid to understand my videos! Silly monkey, my loyal bots can't detect sarcasm, irony, or satire. It doesn't matter what your intention was. All that matters is context. And unfortunately for you, I am the arbiter of context! <sighs> I've made so many enemies over the years. Pedophiles, bronies, anime snobs, wife beaters, junkie. But it was you, Susan. You were the true enemy this whole time. That's enough out of you. Your appeal has been... denied.
I sense a disturbance in the balance. Something happened to Mumpke. Hello, everybody. I am Jungle Jimmy, the twin cousin of Monkey Jones. When we were born, there was a horrible, horrible mix-up. They took the monkey, and they put him to go live with humanity, and they took me, and they put me to live in the jungle. It was a horrible mistake, but here we are. But unfortunately, it seems that Monkey Jones has just been murdered. So I'm here to investigate. So here's what we know so far. On December 12, 2018, Monkey Jones received three strikes on each of his major YouTube channels. As the result of these strikes, both channels were terminated immediately. Thousands of videos and hundreds of thousands of subscribers deleted outright. But why? Why did this happen to Monkey Jones? Did he do anything wrong? And who is behind this? Well, <laughs> let's investigate. Chapter 1, Six Strikes and You're Out. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. The rules of YouTube state, once you get three strikes, you're done. The whole channel is terminated, they delete the whole thing. And it just so happened that I, uh, I, I, I mean Mumpkey, uh, it just so happened that Mumpkey got six strikes, three on each of his channels, all in the same day. Which seems a tad suspicious. So what were these strikes, and were they justified? Let's take a look at each and every one of them. Number one, My Twisted World Audiobook. Now in terms of false strikes, this one might be the most egregious of them all. This was a 10 hour audiobook of me reading Elliot Rogers' manifesto. The same exact manifesto that was published in the New York Times and on ABC News. You know, because it's newsworthy. It's a document unique in the sense that it gives us the entire life story and thought processes of somebody who committed a massacre. It's valuable because it shows us how he thought, and we can use this knowledge to assist us in trying to prevent similar tragedies from happening in the future. But YouTube decided it was hate speech. It was just a word-for-word -word reading of a newsworthy document published all over the internet by prominent news sources due to its newsworthiness. But YouTube said it was hate speech. Now, if you were to search for an audiobook of, say, Mein Kampf, do you think you would find it on YouTube? The answer is yes. Yes, of course you would. So it seems that YouTube is under the impression that in the context of an audiobook, My Twisted World is hate speech. But Hitler's Mein Kampf is not hate speech. YouTube is literally telling us that Hitler's Mein Kampf is not hate speech. YouTube, clearly, in the context of an audiobook, documenting the real life writings of a historical figure, my video was not hate speech. And I know you know that. On Twitter, we had a bunch of back and forths about my strikes. And for some reason, once I asked you how the audiobook was hate speech, you suddenly stopped replying. And when thousands of people retweeted me asking you about it, you somehow ignored all of them too. Why? Because you know damn well that strike is invalid and you have no possible argument to support the takedown. So you just ignore it like a giant pussy. Take away the strike and give me back my channel. Number two, Elliot Rogers' Epilogue, A Guide to Fixing a Twisted World. This next one is a comedy video I made to satirically point out the logical fallacies and insane ramblings of Elliot Rogers' manifesto. At the end of My Twisted World, Elliot details how his ideal world would look. In it, men and women would be separated. Women would be placed in concentration camps, and men would have no idea they exist. Therefore, Elliot argues, without the presence of women, men would never feel sexual desires, nor would they ever feel the pain of rejection that he felt since there are no women around to reject them. 
It's obviously completely fucking retarded, which is why I made a video making fun of it. I would read a section of his text, and then I would sarcastically agree with him while pointing out the inherent flaws in his writing. Here are some examples from the video. Again, YouTube decided this was hate speech. It's literally a video mocking hate speech. The video has a strong and obvious anti-hate speech message. I'm using satire to mock and belittle the hate speech of an infamous figure, but YouTube decided on my behalf that I am endorsing his hate speech instead. YouTube. Take away the strike and give me back the channel. Number three, Elliot Roger the movie, official trailer. Now this one is just goofy. Me and my friends made a one minute parody trailer for Elliot Roger the movie. Before he died, Elliot Roger uploaded a number of embarrassing, cringy videos of himself driving his car and dancing and a bunch of other goofy shit. So we made a fake movie trailer showing this footage and making fun of him. Why did YouTube give this video a strike? It wasn't for hate speech this time around. It was for showing graphic and violent imagery. To be clear, the video is footage of Elliot Roger dancing in his car for a full minute. There is no blood, there is no gore. It's a full minute of a cringe lord spurging out in his car. The video would be given a PG rating at worst. There was nothing resembling violent or graphic imagery. This is another clear example that they just wanted to give me six strikes in one day, even if the strikes didn't make any sense. Take away the strike and give me back my channel. Number four, will Monkey become a Elliot? With each of these strikes, YouTube is outdoing itself with how bullshit it can be. This was a video on my second channel where I was taking an online quiz called Are You a School Shooter? It's just me taking a quiz and answering the questions honestly. The quiz included questions like, do you have a fascination with firearms? And do you ever exhibit aggressive behavior for minor reasons? And do you ever make threats of violence? It's a stupid fucking quiz and I took it as a joke. Are you a school shooter? Do this quiz to find out whether you are a suitable school shooter or not. Laugh my ass off, tongue face, based on the Sandy Hooks guide. Made by ASASDSDWW. Do you ever harm yourself? No, pathetic. Um, I mean, I have reason to do so, but I don't do it. There was the option for that. I guess I'll have to go with no by default because I don't do it. Do you ever feel extreme feelings of isolation or social withdrawal? Uh, not at all. Yes, I feel very lonely sometimes, but I still have friends. Um, well, it's not gonna be that one. I don't really have any friends, IRL, except for Sheepover. So I guess the plural makes that one not work. Um, I mean, I, I do feel lonely, but it's something that I don't really 
it, it doesn't bother me as much as it used to just because I do live with a person now. Oh! Uh, what does this mean? Oh, you're kind of school shooty, but not 100%. <laughs> you're kind of fucked in the head, but not entirely, so you can still function as a normal human being. Wow. <laughs> this poor fucking guy. Does he have any idea that his image of him in a fedora is being used as the you're almost a school shooter result? Now let's play a game. What strike do you think they put on the video? Yeah, it's a little different now, isn't it? When you have to come up with what the strike would be. This would actually make a really fun party game. We could call it Deplatforming Squad. Just watch any random YouTube video and come up with a bullshit reason to give it a strike. As you can tell, YouTube mods are really, really good at this game. Because this video was taken down for... Encouraging and promoting violent acts. What? At no point in the video do I even jokingly suggest that anybody should carry out any violent actions whatsoever. I'm answering questions asking me if I'm violent. And the answers are no! This strike is just fucking bizarre and obviously, objectively false. Take away the strike and give me back the channel. Number five, Elliot.AMV. Now here's one that makes me really upset. Elliot.AMV was a test video I uploaded to my channel on private to see how it would look. It had zero views on it, but according to YouTube, it was flagged for review. Flagged by fucking who? Literally nobody saw it! That's evidence that YouTube has been lying to me and about me this whole fucking time. So, what was the video and what was the strike? In mid-2018, I decided I was done making videos about Elliot Roger. So I made one final video discussing my final thoughts. And I wanted to end that final video with a music video about my relationship with Elliot Roger content and how it was time to say goodbye. The music video, like all my other work, was making fun of Elliot Roger. It mocked him for his obsession with the lottery. It made fun of him for being a virgin. And at the end, I cruelly reject him just like all women did. It's a goofy little music video making fun of a killer. I can still recall all the good times that we had. Back in Isla Vista, you were my virgin, I was your chad. You loved lottery tickets, and I loved your classy style. You were my best friend. Gentlemen. Goodbye, Elliot. And again, YouTube thought this was encouraging violence. This must be the strike they hand out when they have no idea how to take a video down. Somehow, me making fun of a killer, in YouTube's opinion, is the same as endorsing and promoting his violent acts. I mean, even if you're completely fucking retarded, according to the narrative of the video, without even knowing the context behind it, I reject and abandon Elliot Roger at the end. How the fuck is that an endorsement? Do you retards reject the people you agree with? Is that why you deleted my channels? Because you agreed with them? You fucking idiots! But really, I don't think any of that matters. Because it's so clear that YouTube is willing to lie. This video was set to private and had zero views, but they claimed it was flagged for review, even though nobody saw it. We're five for five now on false strikes. Take away the strike and give me back the channel. Number six, Asterios enjoys whiff of little boy juice. Ah. Now this one is just a fucking joke. 
It's a video of my friend Asterios smelling a disgusting novelty Japanese perfume that is supposed to smell like a guy's asshole. And it makes him sick, and he runs out of the room to vomit. YouTube decided that this video was sexual content. I guess because we kept saying the perfume smelled like a boy's asshole. But the video contains no nudity, no humping, nothing sexual at all. Other than the words, this perfume smells like a boy's asshole. So if you can get a strike for even mentioning a sexual thing, well, fuck. Game Grumps, I guess you had a good run, but there are literally hundreds of episodes where you talk about your dicks and wanting to fuck each other and all that jazz. YouTube, come on! It's a video of a guy smelling a funny perfume. You know the strike is unfair, I know it, everybody watching at home knows it. Take away the strike and give me back the channel! Now I know what you're thinking. But Jungle Jimmy, even if all of Monkey's strikes were unfair, he still should have known better. It's no surprise that they terminated him. Elliot Roger content is way too edgy for YouTube. <laughs> oh, sweet summer child. If only you knew how bad things really were. Let me tell you why this is the most insidious shit of all time. Here on YouTube, 80% of the videos you upload automatically get demonetized. And the way to fix it is to request a manual review. YouTube swears that a manual review is when a real-life human being watches your video and decides whether or not it is appropriate for advertisers. And it turns out, according to YouTube's manual reviews, my Elliot Roger videos were not only appropriate for YouTube, but they were also appropriate for monetization! They were appropriate for advertisers! YouTube was actively telling me, on a video-by-video -video basis, yes, your Elliot Roger videos are appropriate for YouTube, so much so that they deserve ad revenue! They were encouraging me to make these videos! But somehow, some way, these same exact videos that were manually reviewed and deemed appropriate over a year ago were suddenly so heinous and evil that they warranted two channel terminations in the same day. I had no way of knowing that these videos were inappropriate for YouTube because time and time again, YouTube was telling me that they WERE appropriate. If they had a guidelines change and no longer wanted those videos on their platform, then whatever. That's fine. But tell me about it, or just delete the videos. Don't give them strikes and terminate my career for it, you stupid, stupid motherfuckers! These emails are the most damning evidence I have. YouTube, you lose. You're wrong. Reinstate the channels. Chapter 2. Who Killed Elliot Roger Rabbit? So it's very clear that this was a hit job against Mumkey. He broke no rules, they just wanted him dead, and they murdered him in cold blood. But why? And who? Over the last month, many people have speculated who might be behind this attack. And I just wanted to take a little bit of time examining a few of these theories. Theory number one comes from some drama I had back in late November. A friend of mine got drunk and tried to murder his girlfriend but she was able to call me when the attack took place, and I made sure the police arrived to save her. However, Stockholm Syndrome was in full swing, and she was so distraught that the man she loved was locked up in jail that she decided to take it out on me. So she hopped into a Discord server, doxed my information, and started spreading disgusting lies about me like that I have sex with my sister. Many people suggested to me that Perhaps Lady Stockholm is behind the channel takedowns. Perhaps she organized a group of people to false flag my videos. But I don't buy it. Lady Stockholm does not have the mental capability to research whether or not I have a sister before spreading the malicious lie that I'm fucking one. So I highly doubt she has the mental capacity to pull off a hit like this. Plus, one of the videos was on private and had zero views, so there's no possible way she could have false flagged it. 
The wife beater and Lady Stockholm are definitely emotionally perturbed and mentally ill, but they are not the culprits here. The next theory people brought forward was the PewDiePie ER controversy. Shortly before my channels were attacked, PewDiePie made a video recommending smaller YouTube channels, and he recommended ER who oftentimes uses edgy humor related to race and Jews. The media attacked PewDiePie for promoting who they assumed was an authentic anti-Semite, and some people believe that YouTube panicked and wanted to start purging edgy content due to this controversy. And my channel was among the first to be targeted. I'm gonna be honest, this theory really doesn't make any sense to me. Elliot Roger content is very different from making jokes about Jewish conspiracies. And even if this theory was accurate, why wouldn't they just delete ER's channel since he's the focus of the controversy and the one getting all the negative media attention? The timing of these events is, if anything, coincidental, and I highly doubt they're related in any way. And then there's the FBI theory. And unfortunately, this one makes the most sense. About a week before my channels were deleted, a man called into a podcast called The Dick Show, claiming to be a special agent. He told a story about how he went to a special agent seminar about the growing threat of incels. And apparently, during this seminar, the presenter showed segments of my video, Elliot Rogers' epilogue. The very first video that got a strike during the attack. Yeah, so it was basically a uh, crime analysis, or uh, crime analyst conference, uh where a bunch of analysts get together and they have a bunch of presenters who we exchange war stories basically uh and one woman gave a presentation that was entitled like a new threat from violent radicals or something like that but uh definitely the best citation she had was she played a clip from a monkey jones video oh my where, God. He's pretend <laughs> where he's pretending he worships elliot roger i think it was the one like the elliot roger epilogue where he talks about uh saint elliot's crusade against thoughts and roasties yeah so monkey Stacey's jones's satire against stacy's and roasties is part of an fbi crime analysis <laughs> seminar this world we live in is twisted. There's no denying that. Women reject the sophisticated, nice guys like us and like instead offer ad. sex to the men who already have everything else going for them. <laughs> a bunch of ripped super chads and underwear models that he's selected here. Yeah, right. And the other one was a dove ad with a huge fat chick on it. One of the... the Beaut women of any size ads, you remember those yeah. fucking monkey? So obviously, somebody at the FBI has their eye on me as an authentic, genuine, dangerous incel threat. And maybe they shared this information with YouTube, and YouTube promptly deleted all my channels without even thinking about it. This would explain why YouTube has straight up ignored the trusted flaggers who have been working to get my channels back, as well as all the other people who have contacted YouTube and Google on my behalf. These literal retards might actually believe that deleting my YouTube channels was some sort of matter of national security. In whatever case, you were mistaken. You're all retarded. The strikes are invalid, so reinstate the channels. Chapter 3, Resurrection. Monkey Jones was wrongfully terminated from YouTube, and thus far, YouTube has made it clear that they'll never acknowledge or fix their mistake. So where do we go from here? How do we resurrect Monkey Jones? Well, step one is a message to Susan herself. Susan, you murdered Monkey Jones in cold blood. He did nothing wrong and you executed him. We caught you. I just laid out all the evidence. But Susan, this is one of those rare circumstances where you can resurrect your murder victim, and it'll be no harm, no foul. Reinstate the channels, Susan. Bring back Monkey Jones and Monkey Jones 2. If you repent for your crime, all will be forgiven. But the chances of Susan or any of her goons actually paying attention to this video is very slim. So please, I beg of all of you watching at home, and I mean this wholeheartedly from the bottom of my little Jimmy heart, take this video, download it, and re-upload it to your YouTube channel. I don't care if you have zero subscribers, I don't care if you have 80 billion. Re-upload the video, 
And I would prefer if you uh, copied and pasted all the stuff in the description down below. They might be able to take me down, but they can't take all of us down. If we spread this video like the plague with millions of re-uploads, it'll spread the word like no other. YouTube wants to sweep me under the rug like nothing happened. Like they didn't end a man's career for literally no reason. And I don't want to go gentle into that good night. They want to silence me. But if we all work together, we can let my voice be heard and maybe, just maybe, YouTube will listen and reconsider their mistake. Come on, Susan! Literally everybody hates you! Take a look at the dislikes on the YouTube Rewind. Do this one small simple thing that'll make people think you're not so bad after all. Of course, that's a long shot. So there are other ways I can continue to do my work. The first is my website, monkeyjones.tv. I've posted a bunch of my old work on there and I'll continue to post all my new videos there in the future. You can also support me on Patreon since now I can't make money from YouTube ad revenue. I also have a Twitch channel over at twitch.tv slash monkeyjones where I do a lot of my usual shows, but now they're live! So go follow me there too. And finally, my girlfriend Sheepover has something she would like to show us. Hey everybody, this is uh, Sheepover, my girlfriend. And she said she had something she wanted to show us, and it looks like, it looks like it's a YouTube channel called Jungle Jimmy. Now, Sheepover, is this your YouTube channel? Yes. Did you make this? Yes. Do you manage this YouTube channel? Yes. And you're the one with access to this channel? Yeah. Now, do I have access to this channel? No. Do I know the password to this channel? Nope. Do I have any way of getting on this YouTube channel called Jungle Jimmy. No siree. So it's 100% your channel that you own and operate and manage. It's mine. And it looks like what you're doing is just re-uploading videos from my website, monkeyjones.tv, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, so what you're saying is if people want to watch videos that I make on YouTube, they can on this channel called Jungle Jimmy that I do not own, operate, or manage. Is that right? That's right. Huh. That, uh, that's very, very interesting. I guess people should go to the link in the description and subscribe. Is that, is that about what you would say? Yeah, I'd say that. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Well, that's it, folks. I've done everything I can do. I listed specifically why all of my YouTube strikes were invalid, and I asked everyone to repost this video everywhere they can. It's out of my hands now. I'll never quit making content, even if they never give me my channels back. But I really, really hope they do. As sad as it may sound to some of the normies at home, my YouTube channel was my greatest accomplishment in life, and I feel like a piece of me has died along with it. But in the meantime, I'm still kicking! So go subscribe to monkeyjones.tv, go follow me on twitch.tv slash monkeyjones, go subscribe to my patreon.com slash monkeyjones, and most of all, subscribe to my girlfriend's new channel, Jungle Jimmy. All these links and more are down in the description below. <sighs> well, folks, as of the day I am uploading this video, my channels have been wrongfully terminated for a full month. And I've got to say, this has been a horrible, hectic, stressful, sad month for me, but also kind of a good one because I got to see so much love and support from so many people. So first of all, I would like to thank all the names you see on screen right now. These are my patrons. They came forward to help me monetarily in my time of crisis and the reason why I get to continue doing this as my job, even without YouTube, is because of all these people on Patreon. Thank you so much to them. And also, man, there's so many names I can't even, I'm not even going to try. Every single person who talked about this on Twitter, who made a video about this, 
uh, people who were spreading the word about how YouTube wronged me and how this was an injustice. Thank you to all of those people. Like I said, there's hundreds. There's hundreds of people. I couldn't name them all if I wanted to. I featured a lot of the more prominent ones at the beginning of this video. Thank you to all of them. I'm glad people recognize bullshit as being bullshit and are willing to to put their voice out there on behalf of somebody who had their voice taken away. And man, uh, there's so many fucking patrons now that this has to go on for two minutes, so I, I gotta I gotta think of more things to say. Uh, uh, definitely, don't forget, links in the description. Go subscribe to Jungle Jimmy. Go check out my website, monkeyjones.tv. Follow me on Twitch, all that. But most importantly, download this video at the link in the description and re-upload it. I have the thumbnail in the file too, so you can give it the, the classic thumbnail. And I want this video to spread like wildfire. You can monetize it if you want, I don't care. I don't want ad revenue from this video. I can't get ad revenue from this video. I just want as many different people to see it as possible so we can put the heat on YouTube, have a community uh, uh, b backing me up, calling them on their bullshit, and maybe, just maybe, it'll save the day. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Thank you for having my back. And I'll have new content for you, brand new, high-quality, polished, edited, scripted content for you, ASAP.